Okay guys, welcome back. B is for boost. And I get this question a lot. People see stuff on Instagram or they see older videos and they ask me, what is going on with this car? So I'm gonna do a little update today, guys, of what is going on with a couple cars I've been asked about. And we did sell a few cars as well. So if you're new to the channel, thank you for joining us. So let me go over what we actually have around the house. So first thing first is my winter beater, which is a Honda Element. Um, it's an automatic. It is front wheel drive, but we do have an all wheel drive five speed with a K24A2 going in it. And I did get a 2010 SC front end. So I'm changing the whole body panels to that. Um, I have been working on this. I have been videoing it since the day I bought it. So I did do the wheels and some other things, which I should start dropping that video. This video I'm editing as we speak. I bought this unseen, it's a PT Cruiser, manual five speed. Um, we'll have to catch up on that when it comes time. Here out in the snow is our big turboed SRT swap neon. We have put a carbon fiber hood on it since you've seen it last. And you will see the batteries out of it just so it won't die, but it's a bog water S257, uh, four bar map sensor AEM, and we have an AEM standalone. Scroll over here, we have our NYG ACR, which has been on the channel, and it was running and driving last you've seen. Now you do see it has an intercooler, which means it is SRT swapped. Well, it was, still is. I'm just power coding a few parts. So, Honestly, my yard is like anyone else that has ADHD and a little bit of money and not a lot of brains. So I hope you really enjoy this. Now, this is the question I get asked a lot. Where is the Honda J-Swap fit? So we did get a J-Swap fit. Um, we had big plans for the J-Swap fit, but unfortunately it had no paperwork. And I want to build a car that we can take on. Oh, there's our other Honda element. Um, Anyways, uh, we wanted to take it on to drag week. We want to race it. We want to have some fun with it. And we can't do that with a car that doesn't have papers. So I sold it off for what I'm into it for. And I bought a car that we can do. And I think you're going to like this car a little better. So you have guessed it. We did buy... Uh, insight so it weighs 1800 pounds from factory it's all aluminum and magnesium and you know it's super super light so we do have a k24 already we already have a five-speed transmission actually we have two of them and we already have some parts to start it now unfortunately we haven't started it yet because we haven't even started my k swap de sol yet so that should tell you where we're at with things um, i'm trying to finish some things up this year it's super cold out here so things are sitting out in the snow so our other Honda element was this one. This one's a manual, but uh, Honda did the recall on it saying it passed. And let me show you. Well, it didn't really pass if it did that. So this had 700 kilometers on it since it passed the recall and the rear subframe ripped out. So that I'm leaving there until I decide what I'm gonna do with it, if I'm gonna go after Honda and whatnot, but that is that. The DeSole is covered in snow, guys, but we have our hand sport mounts. We've got our K-SWAT, our K-TUNE jumper harness, and we have um, an LSD K24A2. It's ready to go other than putting it in and painting the car. With the PT Cruiser video, you will see we did buy three cars unseen. This is another car that we bought unseen, and there's a reason why I bought it, and it was for the front end. I want to use the fenders and the bumper for a mold to make a carbon fiber one. So for people who have been following TikTok or Instagram, I have been doing YouTube videos on this, but I haven't got up to date on this, guys. So let me explain this. This was the reverb I bought with no motor. The motor was blown up in it. The videos have been posted. I sold that car. Girl bought it. She hit a deer. I bought it back for $550. I started a series. I haven't started editing. Well, I have been editing, but I haven't been posting yet which is, can you buy and build a K-Swap car for 2,000 American? And there is our K-Swap. We got a K24A2. 
we're running RSX mounts just because um, well, we're cheap and we want to do it on the down low. So that is what we did. So right now I'm fighting with buying a cheap header. I did buy a cheap uh, Honda Accord header, but it's actually hitting the RSX subframe. So now that it's hitting the RSX subframe, to be 100% honest, guys, I'm probably just going to notch it out, box it in, be done with it. I bought it on Amazon for... I think 200 some odd dollars Canadian. It's a DNA, so I'm not expecting a lot. This is going all wheel drive in a different version that I see. So it's going to be like version one was K swap, which it is. Version two is paint, which I'm doing. And then I want to make sure version one and version two are done. I was waiting on parts, so I kind of jumped ahead to version two. Version three, after I drive it for a bit, is going to be all wheel drive K swap. And then it's going to go turbo. And then we're going to have some fun with it. It's not really, you know, it's. A fun little car, it should be fun. So I got the heat on back here because it's super cold today. I'm trying to get it heated up so I can come out here and finish blocking this car, get it ready for paint. For anyone that follows my Instagram or TikTok, I was working on this car. Actually, I had it planned to be done for um, February, end of February I wanted this done. And then I was gonna bring the Dassault in here and start working on the Dassault. Well, I found rusty doors on both sides and it took me a bit to find clean doors. This car was originally an automatic. It has now been swapped to a five speed as well. So I do video everything. I do edit everything. I need to get in tune of uploading it. I don't wanna upload, I got videos you guys haven't seen of like my 40 being painted, of my working on my Al Camino, um, the world's cheapest Camaro LS3 that I bought. I didn't want to jump around because I have ADHD doesn't mean you have ADHD and you want to, you know, follow me jumping around. So that's why my posts are kind of sporadic because I just want it so you guys, a little easier for you guys to follow. So I edit like almost the whole series of this already on my uh, computer ready to upload. It's just the fact is I've never told you what happened to the first Reverb, this car when I sold it, because I just never did a video on it yet. So I was kind of waiting. Jeff sold his Neon, so it was kind of like, hey, let's you know do the video at the same time. And we just never did because Jeff's working and I just continue buying weird stuff and working on stuff. So Jeff has the Neon sold and he did buy a PT Cruiser GT convertible. So now there's another GT convertible in our, in our views. So, this is a car that you guys have seen here and there. It's my 59 Al Camino. I haven't posted videos on this in a while. We did weld in the quarter panels. It's epoxy primed. And there is a one piece floor that has been put in. So that is gonna be an LS swap. We just, I keep buying junk. I keep buying projects. Next on the list of cars you do know and you have seen is my Civic Ute. It is filthy, it is dirty, but it's out of the snow. And unfortunately, <laughs> my PT Cruiser looks like it's been dripping oil on the hood. So I probably should clean it. And there's our PT Cruiser. So the PT Cruiser has a couple upgrades that we have not even shown you guys yet. We do have a built trans going in it with LSD. We do have a full Mopar lip kit and, a, you know, uh, nitrous cams. We want to go for the fastest stock turbo PT, and we are building our carbon fiber trunk for it as well, so we made a mold of that. So in the snow, oh God, you'll see my rims. These are the wheels I bought for the Honda Element. 19 inch uh, end wheels off of a Sonata. Um, so yeah, we got the adapters because they're like a plus 55. Um, anyways, so we have our world's cheapest Camaro that <laughs> the video series has been done for a long time. I just never posted it because I just haven't had a good time that I thought it was right to post this car. Um, we paid $15,000 Canadian for it. And well, for an SSRS convertible that was not smashed when we bought it, that was a good deal. This would be our 1940 Chrysler Royale. It's waiting for an LS swap, which we have. I got to do a front end. I do have a Ford eight and a half rear end. And uh, once we put it together, um, I don't know if you'll see it here. Um, you'll probably see it here more. The blue isn't the same. And when I got it painted, put the fenders on and noticed that they mixed the color wrong, I kind of got discouraged and that's where it sat. 
So if you guys are like me, um, I want my stuff as perfect as possible. So when something like that happens out of your control, I get discouraged. I just toss it outside. And it's been sitting outside for almost two years now since it's been painted. Because i got to repaint the whole car. I want to put the front end on it, um, paint the front end. And I'm going to have to paint the whole car as one just so I don't have that issue. Or buy probably six gallons of paint, mix it all in a bucket. That way the paint's all the same. And away we go. That way there's no variance of color. So that's that. I like that on the road this year. And behind it, what you can barely see is the front end, uh, the SE parts for the Honda Element. Here, watch, we've done videos on, and I don't know if I posted them yet or not. Watch if I have, I will link all the links up in the description, guys. This is our 2002 GMC Sierra. So I did buy this smashed. I put an 03 front end on it. And well, that's pretty well as far as I got. And I pulled it out of the garage and decided that uh, my fascination with it was done. I actually am really kidding. Um, this, I want to put a rust-free cab on it. So I want to go to Florida, go to a pick and pull, South Carolina, North Carolina, get a rust-free cab, put that on, restore this the way I want it. And this is going to be my forever truck just because it's regular cab, short box, four wheel drive. There's not many regular cabs around. So I kind of like it. I do have new 20 by 12 wheels and it has brand new six inch lift kit, stuff like that on it. So I want to do it right. So this, my hands are freezing is a 2011 GMC Sierra. So I bought this for the LS swap for my dad's 34 Chev Coupe, which will be on the channel probably a year from now. We're gonna start it probably like September, October of this coming, well this year, so 2023. So I bought it, I'm stripping it now, selling parts off, and I've been ordering parts for the 34. One car I haven't showed because it's locked up in the other garage is my supercharged Camaro that was wrecked from the body shop. Um, it's been sitting as well, just because, I don't know, if you get that way, out of your control, something happens, you get discouraged, it got set off to the side, and that's where it's sat. It's been sitting in the garage since. So my plan is, we're going to finish off the EM2 case swap. Once that's done, I'm going to get the Honda to soul in, because I have everything for that. We're going K24, we have a TSX transmission with a SI LSD, um, SI gear set as well. We got the hand support mounts. We got everything to do it. We're going to put it in. We're going to get it painted. We're going to have some fun with that. Once that's done, I want to get the NYG in. Finish up putting the power coded parts on the NYG. Get that running so the SRT swap's done. Then I need to tune my Civic Ute for more power. I need to tune my SRT so I get the 550-ish out of that. That's an awesome build series. I want to get some drag racing in that done as well. Once that's done, it's probably going to put us to probably May, June. I want to start the PT Cruiser. So we can start drag racing that this year. We want to beat the fastest stock turbo time. And before winter, I want to get that painted Battleship Gray. I have Brembo brakes for the front. That's the element. I want to do the K24A2 swap. I want to do the manual swap. I want to do the all-wheel drive swap to it. And the list just goes on and on and on. And before the end of the year, I want to be driving my 40 Royale just to have some fun. So if you're new to the channel, guys, that's what's going on. I will drop... And so every other day I drop videos, I will drop the build now that you know what happened to the EM2 and how I bought a new one. I will drop uh, the video series on that. Can you buy and build a K-Swap car for $2,000 American? Subscribe!